wow, this is this is a hard video to have to make, ladies and gentlemen, because if you saw what I saw, you'd be like, man, this is this is bad. This is bad as bad can get. So former NFL running back Zach Stacy, ladies and gentlemen, video leaked of him causing some serious damage to the mother of his kid. All right. Video leaks out, man. It's it's disturbing, right? It's disturbing to the point where I feel as if I personally share it on this channel or personally share it in this video in any capacity, they might literally just demonetize the entire thing. That's how bad it is. But if I can fit it in, I will fit it in. But running back, former running back Zach Stacy has now been busted, for lack of a better term, exposed for domestic violence against the mother of his kids. I don't know wifey's name off the top of my head right now, but yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's it's bad. It's really, really bad. But I wanted to weigh in on the situation because I think it's worth noting a few things in this video that I think, I mean, in this particular situation that I think will definitely come out later on. I just want to try to get ahead of it and probably other people have gotten ahead of it, but I want to try to, you know, give my piece on it because I think it's worth noting a few things. Number one, his career, if he ever had anything, over. Anything he had going on in his life's completely over. Because there's no doctoring of that video or anything that I can see that shows that there is no way possible that this actually happened. And it happened as a result of his hands. Okay? In one particular shot of the video, you literally see this man pick his girl up and throw her into the TV. Like, this shit is wild. We're talking about a man I think is probably in his like 280, 280 300 pounds, probably six something. And I'm sure his baby mom is nowhere near that. So he launched this girl or she said something and he just hauled off and swung on her. I'm like, my God, this is this is fucked up when I looked at it. But for some reason, I don't know why, but I kind of feel like CTE is going to come into play here now if any of you guys are familiar with what cte is um basically that's one of those things that have been plaguing former nfl players as a result of you know their head banging up against the helmet you know in you know football the nfl being a very high impact sport you know your brain smashing around your cranial causes some serious shit basically it causes some serious head trauma, but it's usually something that is developed over time. So as a result, it does cause people to act out of violence and, uh, you know, things of that nature. So that could be one of the potential reasons we're seeing this man do what he did in these videos. Could be that that was all that was the way it's always been. We don't know because it's ironic that these cameras probably caught a whole bunch but this is the first time we're being exposed to it. The first time that we're actually seeing it. Ah, man. <laughs> and it's hard for me to look at. Because real talk, man, it's, it's crazy how often this shit happens. But it's only when you see it in person where you're like, damn, you really got to pay attention to it now. Again, we can say that it likely happens more to women than it does to men. But let's not overlook the fact that there are some women out there that will beat on men too. And men have confessed to that. It's crazy. A lot of people would like to believe how can this man who is towering over this female that he's in a relationship with or even dealing with. And how can he allow this woman that's smaller than him to beat on him? You'd be surprised. You would be surprised. But in this particular situation, talking about uh, uh, Stacy, uh, I'm sorry, Zach Stacy, I kind of feel like CTE is going to come out eventually. But then again, they'll only be able to make those particular determinations when they actually get a chance to examine the brain. Prayerfully, I don't wish any ill will or harm on anybody, but old buddy probably does need to to get locked up for this one. I can't cap, man. He he definitely needs to go to jail or something. I mean, this is this is not a good look at all. It's it's if you've seen the video, it's brutal. It's it's brutal. Like brutal, brutal, like to the point where that shit made me uncomfortable. I'm like, damn. You know, 
And you should never put your hands on a woman. Let's go ahead and knock that out. Y'all know better than that. And, you know, women, keep your hands off men. Because if you are trying to fight a man like you are a man, you cannot be respond. He cannot be responsible for his reaction when he's trying to defend himself if you're trying to fight him like a man. But it looked like here it didn't seem like she was perpetrating any violence towards him. It seems like he was the aggressor in all of it. Now, could the videos have been doctored? Maybe. Doubt it. <laughs> But could they, like I said, if I'm playing it even kill across the field, there's always there's always a shadow of doubt in certain situations. It just didn't seem like that was the case here. And the last I heard, he was on the run. I don't know what's going on with him right now. Or, he, you know, it, now that it's out, I do believe that he's probably going to find himself disappeared. And my biggest fear, if I could say it out loud, is that he will cause harm to himself as a result of, you know, and it's a funny thing because in the Philippines, we talk about this thing called saving face. And, and I think it's prominent here in the uh, United States and in the Western world too. It's just probably known as something else. But basically what saving face is, is when you're embarrassed in public or somebody embarrasses you in public in front of others. And, you know, you kind of look to looked at as a mockery of any, any, any kind your response is always going to be negative, negative in a way that it's going to probably result in violence or things of that nature. So your responses are usually one of aggression and things like that and saving face all because of, you know, being embarrassed. But in this particular situation, him being who he is, being a public figure once upon a time, like I said, I'm not sure exactly what he's been up to lately. I haven't heard his name lately until this particular point. Now that it's coming out that, this is this is what he's doing or this is what he has done and who knows how long it's been going on it's like where do i go from here if he's a man that values his reputation in any capacity you can almost bet that he could have a high potential to cause harm to himself as a result of man this was a tough one to read man because i saw the video recently i watched it at least five times before I recorded this one, if you haven't seen the video, I'll try to link one in the description area below for you guys to check it out. I don't see this ending well at all. It's unfortunate. But if there's a lesson that can be learned here, man, is... God damn, man. I don't even know what lesson you can learn here, man. Because it's not like you should know any, like you should even think that there's anything acceptable about the domestic violence. So can't even say that that's a lesson to learn. But oh, buddy, I think he got a long road ahead. I could tell you that. I think he has a long road ahead. But let me know in the comment section, ladies and gentlemen, how you feel about. Well, I can't even ask you how you feel about it because I'm pretty sure everybody's tone is going to be on one accord but you know let me know what you're thinking about this situation as you've heard of it as you've seen the videos because there's videos all over the internet right now don't even have to you know look for my you can find it anywhere but old buddy is definitely 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 in a bad place but i do believe for some reason i don't know why because it just seems like with football players and stuff like that cte whenever there's this really act like this hard act of violence cte always seems to be a contributing factor but I guess we'll just have to wait and see how they play this one out. Okay? I don't see it ending well. That's all I'm going to say. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a good talk, man. I hope you guys are blessed. hope you guys are having a good one. Y'all take care, man. Y'all stay blessed, man. And Doc is on to the next one. With that being said, good Doc is officially out at least knuckle per alum, which means I am going now. Uh, Bye-bye. As always, love you guys. Sincerely do. Makita. Mabuhai. Peace.